Hello, I'm James J. Trace. A number of years ago, I wrote a book called Don't Stop Your Mind. From that book, and from talks that I have given, and from a few radio shows uh, that I have done, I put together a series of videos on YouTube. The, there are approximately 100 videos now on YouTube. Um, over the approximate four and a half or five years that those videos have been up, we have had over a half a million hits or views um, on uh, YouTube. In addition to that half million views or hits, I have had countless comments from all over the world, chiefly the United States, um, some from Europe, Canada, uh, Mexico, um, uh, the balance of South America, and, and so forth. And those comments have run the gamut. <clears throat> some have been critical, of course. Some have asked for deeper explanations. Um, some critiques have come from scientists. Some from uh, uh, people uh, involved uh, very much in religions. And other people in ordinary walks of life that have looked for help, perhaps guidance, advice, or those that simply wanted to learn more about what is it to create your own reality? How do you do it? What does it mean? And how does it work? The premise is based upon a combination of things. The scientific field of quantum physics, or quantum mechanics, if you would. Um, the fields of general and special relativity. Um, ancient writings, ancient philosophies, um, spiritual experiences, um, and the reality and the integrity of the human experience, the so-called mythos. Now, the word myth comes from mythos, and people think that myth means not true or not real, and that it is the opposite. Myths, or the mythos, are larger truths that all, cannot be contained in the physical dimension. Logic and the logos emerges from the mythos. So logic is smaller than myth. Myth has a greater reality than logic does. Just as the human experience is beyond the reach of science. Science is smaller than reality is. And science's reach and scope is limited. <clears throat> Unfortunately, to some degree, science has become very arrogant. I have referred to it as a religion. I have called it the dominant religion on the planet. In the near future, uh, I plan on coming to uh, either uh, television or documentaries um, where I can expand beyond the limited scope of YouTube, where I am limited to videos that run from one to approximately uh, four minutes. The purpose will be manyfold. One is to explain clearly uh, the true nature of reality. The problem is right now we have fragmented concepts. We have religion and fundamentalist religion on the one hand in a competitive battle with science on the other hand and then you've got the atheistic viewpoint. Unfortunately none of them capture the true complete picture. All of them have an arrogance of sorts. All of them are limited. In truth, none of them really get it. So, what I intend to do and to teach 
is how to really learn and utilize the ability to create your own reality literally to improve one's life and to grow spiritually. Science's conception of marriage.